so in uh, lesson number 2 in, in lesson number 2 chapter software we have now completed the presentation and also we have completed questions based on textbook content i hope you have answered all these questions and uploaded it back into this uh, area itself now we move on to worksheet questions so let's uh, download this document open a new window and uh, download this document so this is uh, the worksheet based on chapter number 2 and it's having past paper questions from 2011 all the way to 2000 uh 14 okay so we'll be answering these questions uh starting off with the first one it goes on to say each laptop has a pre installed operating system an operating system is a type of system software name the other type of software that should be installed so when you have system software installed in a computer you will also be requiring application software okay so let's get this spelling correct Okay, when you have system software on the other side, you will be having application software. The most appropriate type of software for producing a slideshow is going to be presentation software. So answer A. A cooling fan is automatically turned on when the temperature in a room goes above a preset temperature. So they are saying a cooling fan automatically comes on when the temperature goes above a certain amount. The type of system used to turn the cooling fan on is we will be using a control system so i told you a control system is used to control a control device so the answer is control system over here a computer system allows scientific experiments to be carried out in a virtual environment this type of system is known as so it's not testing it's known as simulation okay uh generally scientific experiments are carried out in an in virtual environment they are they don't physically feel it but they uh, what do you call uh, they are not physically in that location but they can kind of feel like what it would actually be in that location of example when it comes to piloting when we are teaching the pilot how to fly the to how to fly a plane you can't put him on the plane directly so what you do is you put him in a simulating environment environment where he feels like he's flying a plane you put him on a seat that he, that that feels like he is sitting on a plane in the cockpit area and he is actually controlling the plane okay so that's what we call simulation where you get a real uh, feeling of the real life experience moving on to the next question john has decided to produce a leaflet to advertise his business identify the most appropriate type of software application john should use so we are talking about producing a leaflet so he can use either word processing software okay he can use word processing software also desktop publishing software can be used you can also go on to mention graphics editing software or photo editing software as well john clicks on the print preview icon to check the layout of his leaflet explain what is meant by the term icon so icons are these are what you call icons these tiny objects over here are what we call icons on the desktop also you have icons these are all what we call icons so we can say an icon an icon is a graphical representation of a file folder or an action okay so when i look at this i see a floppy disk and i understand that it means save when i see this arrow going backwards i understand that it means undo when i look at this particular icon i understand this is about accessing my computer's hard disk okay when i see this folder i know its name is about uh, the various uh, parts of my laptop you know for example when i look at these folders i understand contact science when i see this one i know it's about the desktop files okay so an icon is a graphical representation of a file folder or an action the most appropriate software to use for calculations is it's going to be spreadsheet software the computer files are stored in what we call a folder all files of a computer are stored inside a 
folder. So answer D. Then it goes on to say the software that must be installed on a computer to access web pages. So in order to access a website or a web page, you would be requiring a web browser. Okay, so I taught you examples of web browsers are Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Firefox. Okay, and web browser comes under the category of communication software. The computer has a high graphic has a graphics card. Identify one type of app application that will benefit from having a high capacity graphics card. So they are asking us to identify the type of application that will benefit from a good graphics card. So you can talk about photo editing software or graphics editing software, gaming software. You can talk about video editing software. Okay, so these are software which use a lot of graphics. Okay, so these are the types of software that will benefit from a high capacity graphics card. The tutor replies to Katie's email with comments about the sketches. Katie sends the email to the printer and the printer is out of paper message is displayed on the monitor. Explain how this message is generated. So this is an error message that is being displayed on her monitor. So we told you that error error is handled in the computer by the computer's operating system. Okay, we call it error handling, which is done by the computer's operating system. So we can go on to say when the printer, when the sensor, let's say when the sensor in the printer detects that there is no paper in the printer, an error message is sent to the computer's operating system which will then inform then inform the user okay so what happens is the sensor in the printer file will first detect that there is no paper then an error message will be sent to the computer's operating system and then the operating system will display the error message to the user so kt uses word processing spreadsheets and graphic software graphic software these are examples of a type of software. Give the name for this type of software. So we learned the word processing, spreadsheet, graphics all come under. Yes, application software. So state the type of software that must be installed on the server to allow the network to function. So we're talking about a server computer which is connected to a network. So we will be needing an operating system, but for a network computer, what kind of an operating system do we install? We install a network operating system. If it is a computer which is going to be used by one user, we install a single user operating system. If it is going to be used by a bunch of users in the network, we call it a network operating system. So once you're done, please make sure you save your work and then uh, upload your work back into the classroom. Click back, open the assignment and come and click add or create file select files from your device uh, and go on to desktop sorry downloads select your file open it upload and uh, once the document has finished uploading uh, do not forget to click the turn in button okay you can click on turn in and then also do not forget that uh, you are having a quiz to be completed if you come back over here please do remember you're having a quiz to complete do try and do this quiz on your own okay you can download this answer the questions and then re-upload it back into uh, this uh, area okay so that's it we have completed chapter number two if you do have any questions any clarification doubts please feel free to message me uh, you can even comment on the YouTube videos, okay, if you have any questions or doubts. Thank you very much.